All right, today I'm going to make a quick video about moving multiple rows at one time using App Script. So I made a video not too long ago, and I'll link it in the description about how to move a single row uh, based on a condition, for example, a drop down um, that corresponded to a different tab um, or a checkbox or so forth. Um, but today I'm going to look at how to move multiple rows if you already have the criteria in place. So let's go ahead and jump into the App Script and start writing our function. So I'm going to start with a little piece of code that I use. This just helps with script authorization. Um, when you go to authorize this, as you'll see in here in a couple minutes, um, this will only ask for permission of the current spreadsheet, which gets rid of Google's annoying um, error uh, warning that um, they didn't make the script and all that crap. So. Um, this is going to help with that, but let me just go ahead and move forward with this script. So, get my variables set up here. Get sheet. I believe this is new leads. I can type here. All right, let's see what we got here. So, uh, we have three tabs working sold and churn and then there's just some backup data I'm thinking I'll use that later uh, to reset this so <coughs> all right so let me set these up uh, let's actually get this data first get range two one she get last row and then minus one to count for the two I have there and then get last column. So I don't have to count. And then get values. Perfect. <clears throat> and then I think I'm just gonna do a simple for loop here. Um, sometimes I use some different ones. Um, but I like using these simple for loops because they're simple and easy to understand. <clears throat> And so that's what I'm going to use here. Um, before that, let me go ahead and set up. I'm going to set up a different array for each tab that we have here. Um, that's what I'm just going to do here. Um, we could just do a very similar thing to what we do with move a single row and just basically go row by row, grab this value, and then find that tab and paste it. But that method is very inefficient. Um, basically, with App Script, each call you make to um, the sheet itself, like a get range and stuff like that, it's going to slow down your script. And so, um, this is just a way to keep more efficient. And this is really a good way to kind of learn how to start manipulating arrays, which I will do a video on here shortly because I know that's that was a big thing for me learning App Script, uh, learning how to deal with arrays. And I'm sure that's for a lot of you guys as well. So I'll make a video on that shortly and go through some ways that I handle arrays. And so let's just go ahead and run through this one. So let's just do data equals working. Then I'm just going to push it to my working array and push that row. <coughs> so a pretty simple piece of code here. Um, one thing some of you guys might say is, hey, you don't need these brackets if you have a single line of code. But um, this is something I usually do because sometimes I'll come back in here and I have to add some more. And <clears throat> anything you can do to keep yourself from getting a bug in the code is great. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave it like this. All right, and that will push all our data through. I can exit my for loop now. <coughs> Let me set up my sheets now. Sold and churn. Sold and churn. All right, so I'm actually gonna bury these. I'm gonna put a little quick for work if, uh, I'm sorry, if, if working length is greater than zero, then we'll go ahead and dump that data in. <laughs> so 
So working sheet, get range, working sheet, get last row plus one, one, number of rows, working length, columns, working. Values working. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and just copy this. All right. Let's get this in here and this in here. One thing you should do a lot with coding is trying to copy and paste if possible. Uh, sometimes you end up making more changes on it than is worth the typing. I may run of that here, but we'll see. Sold. 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 And sold. Finally, churn. Also helps if you go through one at a time. Sometimes I'll get ahead of myself when I'm coding. And I'll start changing, swapping out some of these variables, and then I'll get distracted, want to do something else. And then I'll leave one and forget one. I just had this happen earlier today where it was pasting in the wrong tab because I had made another co copy of this one and then I forgot to change the tab name. So that can happen to anybody. All right, so finally, after we're done, let's go ahead and delete old values. Where did my cursor go? And she get last column. Sometimes I'll go count the columns, but I'm not feeling inspired to count today, so that's why I'm using the last column one here. Um, just do that. And I could use get data range, which I actually don't want to use because I have a header column. So, um, so this should do it. Um, and then I'm actually gonna just gonna add um, a menu here, just because I like to see this when I do this. So it's satisfying to see your code working. Let's create a menu. I'll call it script. Add item, move rows, and then R. Just call it move row. Sometimes I'll change my function names to make sense, just like variables. So let's just go ahead and do that. And then I'm just going to reload, which obviously close our script editor. And then let's see if this works, if I have any typos. So it takes a second for it to pull in here. There we go. Took a second there. So this should ask me to authorize, and then um, this one should be a streamlined flow. So it's just asking me for access. Um, if you guys have used AppScript before um, and authorized it, usually at this point you're getting that warning. Google's saying, "Hey, are you sure you want to proceed?" Um, but if you can, if you're restricting your access only to the current sheet, then it gives you this streamlined flow, which is just better. So. Get rid of that. Um, obviously, if you've run a script before, you know when you first authorize it, it's not actually gonna, not actually gonna run the script. So I'm gonna go here, do move rows again, and we'll see if it work. So clear that out. There's our working, there's a sold, there's a churn, look at that. Working first go around. So let me delete this real quick. And then let me pull this data back in. And I wanna do one more thing real quick here. And I think it'll be good for today, so. Uh, let me just do this, lead, uh, sale, lost, uh, call this good for now, I think. Um, maybe we'll just do another one cold. And so let's go back to the app script. So what I'm going to do here is um, we're going to determine where we want to push it based on this. Um, when it's not the same as the tab name, because that's going to happen sometimes. 
And so um, we're just gonna reprogram this to handle that. Um, so that we get an idea of how to do that. So um, let me just go ahead and make a little array. So we'll call this tabs, I guess. And then we're gonna put this together. So we have lead, sale, lost, and cold. So lead, and this one go to working. Sale will go to sold. Um, not staying consistent here. Uh, we'll do lost, churn, and cold. I'll just put that to churn. So I can go ahead and probably just put this on one line. Sometimes I'll put it in multiple lines. It helps it when you're putting something together. Um, but you can put it up if you don't have a bunch or if it makes it easier. So, so what we're going to do here is um, we're going to assign it based on what we have here. And actually what we can do here is, um, yeah. So what we'll do is we'll find out what we have. So let's do like category equals data I zero. If I can get that in there, right? And then what we'll do is we'll get uh, do I have target? I don't think I have target. I'm just going to call this target. At this point, I didn't really need it to be the same as the tab name. Um, but what we'll do here is actually, we can do this tabs. There we go. Actually, I can call this target. I'm programming the file. I did not plan this before I started doing this video. So what we should have now is as it iterates through this array, um, we're going to assign, um, basically it's gonna use this first part, which will be, for example, here, lead. So it's gonna look up lead in tabs, which will return the value of working. And so this should have the exact same result um, and all I had to do was add this array and then this little assignment here. So let's go ahead and run this again, make sure I got everything cleared out. Okay. And then I saved it. Yep. So let's go ahead and run this again and see if we're working. So there we go. Lead, sale, and there we have lost and a cold. All right. Uh, that should do it. do it for today. I am planning on recording some more videos, so stay tuned. And we'll be back again soon.